Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. We're very excited to be here. Um, we're just trying to add um, our guest for today, who is Alexandra. <coughs> and uh, we're very excited to be here. Thank you. Hello, I can see IO Life Balance, you joined. Thank you so much. Um, we're very, very excited to be here and I am just um, getting this set up. So, one second as we... First, Feisty, Ali. Okay. That's it. <clears throat> How is everyone doing this morning? We're waiting for Alexandra to join our IG live, and um, I'm just getting set up here. So, hello, everyone. Hi, Alexandra. Hello. How are you doing? You look amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. All right, I'm glad that this is working out. Sorry, my thing is it's frozen. One second. Sure. And uh, let me see. I'm just trying to set things up here as well. And I'm not sure how this is. Maybe give it a little bit of. <clears throat> how are you today i'm doing all right how about yourself i'm great i'm great just trying to get this all set up if i can figure it out uh, oops, there we go oh there you are <laughs> uh, I think this is good. I guess I should see myself on my face. Yes, 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 yes. Is that better? Okay, Hi, I can now I can see you also. Much better. Oh. Much better. Oh, you look yes. great. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, All right. A little struggle in the morning, but doing a lot better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's that kind of morning in Dallas. It's a little baby, hasty, so uh, it's just the kind of morning you want to sit in bed, but here we are. Yes, it's so gloomy <laughs> today here. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you? Where are you located, Alexandra? I'm in Dallas, Texas. I actually just recently moved over here from California. How cool. We yes. are in Dallas. We're, we're in the McKinney area. Oh, awesome. Yeah, kind of like the borderline of Dallas and Garland, kind of by like white rock like 15 minutes yes oh my gosh when this is all over we should definitely connect and maybe do lunch or something so oh i would absolutely love that yeah I'm definitely trying yeah. to meet new people i like because of covid and everything i absolutely don't know anybody so i'm definitely trying yeah. to connect with a lot of people yeah yeah this is a tough time to move actually because now yeah but not, yeah it's hard to get out mm -hmm. um I was just saying a few, a few um, yesterday actually. I was just saying I'm starting to get cabin fever. This needs to be over soon. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, all right. Hello, everyone. I don't know. Um, a couple of people have joined us. Herbert Salazar. Herbert Salazar. Hi, hi, hi. How do we wave? Oh, there's a couple of people here. Hey, Carlos. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, 310 Perez, Carlos Osama, um, C Miriam is here. Hey, Miriam, how are you doing? Hi, guys. <laughs> awesome, fantastic. Good morning, everybody. I think it's on the top of the hour. I think we're uh, already three minutes in. Hi, Ishat, how are you? Thank you for joining. Hello. I see everybody saying hi. Hi, Gizmo. Gizmo. 
Hey, Jeez Mom, how are you doing? Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. I'm so excited to be here. Um, <clears throat> and um, I just wanted to give a quick introduction of who we are. My name is Renomo Crawford. I'm the founder uh, of Herbal Goodness. Our company is, uh, <clears throat> is a manufacturer of superfood and super herb products to support healthy living and impact our lives. And we're so excited to be here. So please go to our website, hopefulgoodnessco.com, to check us out. Hello, Jerry from Texas. I can see you. Hi. Oh, hi, Ishat. I can see you guys. Thank you all for joining us. And we're coming to you live from Texas. So I am super excited to have Alexandra here. Alexandra is um, an ITP warrior, and she's an influencer. And she really loves and talks about living healthy. And I wanted to give you a chance to introduce yourself, Alexandra. Um, I know that you dedicated yourself to, you know, bettering yourself and motivating others. I had a chat with you. I was extremely motivated. Um, and I feel like you give 120% to everything you do. So I'm just Absolutely. really excited yeah, to have you here. So um, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah. Tell us where you are from. I'm all my first time on IG, but uh, my name is Alexandra Strickland. I'm 25 years old. Um, I guess I've been living with lupus now for about, I was diagnosed in 2016, so about like four and a half years now. And oh, so much has happened over the last couple <laughs> of years. I just feel like I've grown so much from when I was a teenager into a woman now and just the things that I'm into now, I'm very into dancing, very like outgoing type of personality. I'm very much like socializing, connecting with people, definitely into reading and kind of getting deeper within myself too. Ever since like getting diagnosed with this, I just realized how short of a time all of us really have and how much yeah. I just want to just better myself and just stay positive that during this time, I just want to cherish all the moments that we have. So I definitely take every day and every breath like very seriously because just because of how short of time we have, I guess. So I, I vary into nature, the things around us. Um, I, that's what I love about this product, just because of the how holistic it is, how natural, pure, simple it is. Um, I didn't want to be on a bunch of type of different medications and I just I think that's why I fell in love with this product. And I love that it's woman owned too, because because of lupus, it's more prone for women of getting it. So yes. I just, uh, I love everything natural, I guess. That's definitely part of who <laughs> I am. I love putting only good stuff inside of me. I definitely believe you feel different feelings and everything due to what you put inside of your body. So I definitely <laughs> feel everything very deeply, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, do you mind mentioning what your um, IG handle is for people who want to check you out? Because I know on your hand, on your IG handle, you also talk about yourself as a motivator and um, passionate about life and passionate about health. So if you would mention your IG life and tell us some of the things that you're really passionate about around healthy living and lifestyle. Well, my IG is feisty alley cat underscore AS. So if anyone wants to follow me on there, that's where I'll, I talk a lot about positivity and motivation with not just myself, but with other people as well, too. Because I definitely believe that we're all connected. We're all one people. And yeah. we all go through things. We all feel things. And I think it's so important to express that to each other. Because yes. I just feel like in sharing, we can help inspire one another and find maybe things that we didn't know, like information that maybe helps one another so definitely some of the things I'm passionate about is definitely animal advocacy like animals have feelings too definitely nice. about people advocacy that everybody has feelings everyone has a heartbeat everyone feels something that, yes. that it's important to recognize that that we all have our different languages of love that we all like to be loved differently that that's why maybe sometimes we have controversy amongst one each, amongst one another because we're not realizing how to get across to one another and that creates that controversy so i definitely like and advocating and explaining that to people that everyone feels things just as deeply as you do and everyone has like their own universe going on inside their head so definitely believe that taking more time understanding one another and giving someone the opportunity to really like express themselves 
And if you maybe don't understand something, like, hey, what did you actually mean by that? And kind of rewording it and saying, hey, maybe I meant it this way, not so much this way. Like, so. Wow, I love that. I love that, Alexandra. It's amazing that you understand, that you, you see that and understand that. I just love that, the idea that everybody feels things deeply, except that we express it differently. Yeah. And that we all have different love languages. That is so powerful. Wow, lots of love. Somebody shoot lots, <laughs> lots of, of love. Lots of love radiating over here. You know, but... <laughs> lots of love. Now let's dig into some of why we really want to talk about this because a lot of our viewers are eager to hear your story. I'm sure they have a lot of questions. Guys, if you have questions, please post it here. I can see Ishat, he's talking about herbs and meditation and Ayurveda um, therapies, but we did want to... Um, dig in here i know that we had mentioned that you're an itp warrior but i wasn't sure i wanted you to talk a little bit about what itp um or low platelets are and i don't even know if low platelets are, are equal to like i don't know if they equate to itp but um we're trying to raise awareness around this issue of low platelets mm -hmm. and how it happens and what are the symptoms how did you suddenly find yourself in this world? So can you tell, tell us your story? <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, it's been such a journey, Lily, because I feel like I've gotten so much knowledge over the years of learning about this that it's just like I got to take myself back, like, oh goodness, like to the beginning. Um, <laughs> pretty much what, what it is, it's, uh, lupus is it's an autoimmune disease. It's basically when your body is attacking itself because it's confused that it's attacking the healthy blood platelets instead of the yeah. ones that are causing sickness and disease and everything. So you're, it's your body pretty much attacking itself. And so it makes the, the platelets go down lower. And the platelets is pretty much what helps us heal, what helps the body stay fluctuating pretty much throughout the body, like the, the circulation of it. Like when it all started for me, I think it was back in 2016. At the time I was just getting into fitness, which ends up being a big part of my story. And I started working at a hotel as a front desk agent at the Sheraton in Anaheim. And it, it was a very, not like so much demanding job, but I had to be on my feet the whole time, checking people in and stuff. So it was definitely, I, I felt, started feeling my body changing. And during that time, I thought it was due to because of me starting to work out. I was like, okay, my body's, I'm getting used to how my body's transforming. Maybe this is what it feels like. But it started just becoming, I felt overly fatigued. I felt like I was going to faint. I felt like wow. things getting, started to get kind of a little fuzzy and a little foggy. I would try and be focusing and I would just feel my brain trying so hard to focus. And it was like, I couldn't figure out why I was feeling so overwhelmed. And uh, one day I, during break, my my manager at the time, I she saw my hands. And it was weird to me because I had always been a very, like, outgoing child in, uh, as, as a kid. Yeah. I was always in nature. I was always dirt biking or swimming or something. Yeah. And I was yeah. just swimming in, like, the Sacramento River. And that water is cold, <laughs> like, freezing cold. And I started turning purple, I started turning yellow, my hands started like discoloring. And I, I, I was confused and my boss told me, she's like, honestly, I don't think that's a good sign. I think you really should go to the doctors. Like, you're fine, like, we'll take care of the rest of the stuff, just please go, go to the doctors. So I wasn't even gonna go. I was like, oh, you know what, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm a strong girl, it's okay. Like, I'll get through this, kind of trying to like, I guess, pat myself on the back like you're fine don't worry about it like don't make a big deal out of it like especially yeah. my dad we're just not ones to go to the doctors we're like oh some chicken noodle soup and some seven up will cure anything like yeah yeah so i ended up i ended up going and i ended up being in the emergency not the emergency room the um, urgent care center for like three yes. hours because of how backed up it was and wow. i was starting to get so cold that i had one of the nurses had to like bring me like a blanket because even though it was like room temperature, I was like freezing. I started to like start shaking. And I, and then I finally get back to the, to the nurse and the nurse tells me, Oh, I think you're fine. Like, I think you're overreacting kind of thing. Like she didn't say it in those words, but it was kind of like the, the, the aura that yeah. she gave off. And I was like, 
maybe I am fine, but you know what? I still want to see just in case. Like, yeah. And then yeah. when they come back, she ends up coming back with the doctor. And you know when the doctor comes in, they got that serious look on their face. Like, so I got to tell you something. Like, wow. And it ended up being him telling me that how low my platelets were. He was surprised that I didn't combustly start bleeding out of, like, my ears, my nose, my eyes. Because they were, like, at 8,000. And like doing my research now, I realized that they should have at least been at 150. That I was like, okay, so this is bad. This is really bad right now. Like, and he's like, so I need you to be careful, but I need you to get quickly and as safely as possible to the hospital right now. Because we need to, we need to run some tests. We don't know what's going on to cause your platelets this low, but this is, some, this is really dangerous right now. Wow. So at the time, like my, my mom was there with me, my, my boyfriend was there with me, they ended up having to drive me to the hospital. And wow. it was very scary, because at first they, they couldn't diagnose it. And I think that's the scariest thing about this autoimmune disease is that it's so hard to diagnose that some they have to run so many tests to figure out at first what's wrong with you to help to even begin wow. to treat you. So that wow. was a process that was like the first time I went into the hospital for it and they couldn't diagnose me. They had to take lots of blood and because of what was what happens with your lupus and your blood like coagulating it's, it's it's my blood was having a harder and a harder time circulating so when they oh. would take the blood out of me my veins were starting to puff up so the blood couldn't get through so oh. they had to keep switching arms in order to get the blood to even diagnose me oh wow Ser wow so that was just so hard to just feel like a pin cushion like wow so that was just kind of took me because i'm not used to being in the, in the hospital the doctor so that kind of took me like by surprise like oh okay like this is starting to hurt a little bit and they ended up sending me home telling me you know make sure you're you're taking these vi these these um this medication that we're giving you um and then we'll we'll, we'll keep doing weekly like blood tests to see and mm -hmm. and monitor your blood platelets and they ended up dropping again. And I think this time it dropped to like 6,000. So I had to get sent back to the hospital again for the second time. And that was like another week long process where they had to, they put like a high risk on my arm because I could have started bleeding. And that was when they finally diagnosed me with lupus because of what was going on like with my symptoms. I was okay. having like inflamed joints. My joints were really hurting me and feeling like they were on fire, like, it was really hard because it was definitely a different feeling. So it was like, how do you explain that to somebody? That's something you've never felt before. They're like, how do you say that? Like, yeah, this hurts. It feels hot. Like, My it, it, it was just so much to deal with. And like sitting in like that hospital bed, it was just like, it took a toll on me emotionally and mentally as well, too. Because of me starting to work out and getting healthier, I could have been a lot worse at the time. But I, I started developing that can-do attitude where I was like, no, no one's going to tell me that I can't get over something. Because they, yes. they started telling yeah. me that yeah. there was something I was going to have to live with. It was going to be a lifestyle change. That things weren't, yeah. this was something that I was going to have to learn to live with for the rest of my life. It's not something that they can cure. That it was wow. just something you had to learn to live with. And th for me, that was a very, very hard pill to swallow. Like, yeah. I, I wasn't even like, that yeah. everything that we need is on this planet and i feel yeah. like there has to be something yeah. natural for this yeah. to be better because they were putting me on like 10 different medications they wanted to put me on this thing called plaquenil which is and it's pretty much steroids but yes. I, obviously doing my research i realized how bad that is over time that's gonna start yeah. wearing my bones down and for someone that wants to be like the skydiving grandma i don't want my bones to, like, to be brittle <laughs> like that like <laughs> so I love me, you know, there has to be something else I can use. <laughs> and I started doing my research. I started trying to find more holistic remedies. Like, I don't know, I started putting like honey and cinnamon on me and that took care of like some of my rashes and stuff, but I still kind of felt that fatigue feeling overwhelmed, like kind of shaky. Wow. And I started watching a lot of YouTube videos about other people that were kind of struggling with this as well too. Because yes. it's, it's a very lonely thing. Like, yeah. I definitely yeah. have to advocate for myself a lot when, yeah. like, 
like things yeah. arise when I'm not feeling so good and I kind of need a second like hey guys I need to sit down I need to I need to do my deep breathing for a second yeah. hold on like yes yes oh uh, and Alexandra I, was strong strong girl I don't know it's, it's definitely but, but you know one thing you told me when we talked you said that one thing that helps you was because you started working out you had started developing this can do attitude and this attitude of I'm not going to let anybody tell me about my health. Like I'm going to research it and take my own my, my own health into my own hands. Yeah. I think that's amazing. It and honestly, it's definitely hard having somebody tell you to your face especially someone with like a doctor degree because you hold a lot of a, a high regard for them and their opinion like. Yes. And yes. for someone like that tell you that I'm sorry but Yes. You're, you're going to have to live with this. Sorry, you're going to feel bad for the rest of your life and this is going to something that's yeah. going to affect you greatly. And it's like, what? Yes. 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 Like yes. I I love to be outgoing and socialize with my friends and it got to a point yeah. so bad that I was literally hurting my body just to go out with my friends like yeah. I was like turning red, I was feeling sick. I was like, yeah, guys, I'm yeah. coming like while I'm yeah. over, like just cuz of how bad I want I felt so alone in this and like I wanted to be around people yeah. and I really had to learn to listen to my body and what was going on like Alex you you can't you do you can do the things that you want to do but you have to start like preparing for yourself like bring an extra jacket bring some gloves yeah. you know wow. like bring extra water just so you can like feel a little better and get your blood circulating like little little things like that having to adjust and I ended up watching one of those YouTube videos and this girl started talking about some like, kind of a similar story to mine and she mentioned the product of the papaya leaf and I was like papaya leaf that's kind of interesting like that sounds kind of, that sounds natural I like that okay <laughs> and I kept watching it and I started reading a little bit more like oh, wow like like I, I like the fact that it's natural it comes from a plant like it yes. it yeah. it has to uh, and all these reviews about being low blood platelets with the healthy digestive yeah. system for it yeah. to overall help like boost your immune system with everything yeah. I've tried I was like I'm, yes I'm bring it on it. like she told bring me it on to, she told me to give it a go and I was like you know what like I'm definitely going to give it a go like yeah. and this is actually going to be my second bottle the first one uh, it took a little bit for it to like get through my system just because of with my blood and the circulation that yes. it, it it took a moment but now being on my second bottle i'm feeling such the biggest difference in the world like wow honestly i awesome. love the product it definitely works and i'm like not a critique type of person but i'm a like a, a reality for a person like yes. is it going to work is it not going to work i need yes. to know yes. if i'm on yes. hurting and i need something that's going to help yes and yes. finding this was such the biggest blessing on me yes. that i feel the difference it i I remember when I st when I got tried getting the second bottle it took like a um like a a week just because I I I I waited too long after my yeah. first one I was like oh I'm fine I waited a couple of days I'll order it yeah. in a little bit and yeah. even just that week of being off of it I felt the difference I started feeling foggy again I started feeling kind of fatigued again yeah. like I was hearing my body talk to me that I was I was feeling those symptoms again and I was like I don't want to go back to feeling like that like yeah. like feeling like just not not yourself just everyone yes. that invincibility that everyone sees that you look okay but you're not okay yes. that you're hurting on the inside and it's like it's hard to explain that to someone when you're like oh yeah I'm fine I work out like yeah yeah it, it's yeah. definitely very confusing to people it's a very uh, like uncertain kind of disease that yes. it was just feeling this good I'm like oh my gosh yeah. like I, I I get to work out I get to wake up yes. in the morning yeah. I don't feel yeah. like Oh, I'm going to take that extra 3 hours of sleep because my body's so overwhelmed that I can't get up early in the morning. Like, yes. When I'm not It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Um Alexandra, you're echoing a lot of what other people we've talked to um and I just wanted to say, you know, thank you for agreeing to come on the IG live because it's really important. You said something. This is one of those things that when you go through, you keep wondering, am I alone? Why did this happen? how did i get here what did i do wrong and i think that that's a lot of the questions we hear people in this situation asking and they're saying is there they're trying to find a support group what what can i do what else can i do except all these pills that are not even may not even really be a permanent 
um, solution, right? Yeah. And I just wanted to say thank you for coming to, to share your story because as you were talking, I realized that you said you had watched another video, and I, I don't know which video you watched, but thank you to someone who did the video. And I just wanted to just thank you because it's important that we tell these stories because we as a company, Herbal Goodness, we started the company eight years ago making papaya leaf products. And frankly, when we started um, uh, papaya leaf, we had no idea that it was it was something that would support platelets or grow platelets at all. We thought it was, I had papaya leaf growing up. I had it for, um, to help with um, digestion and um, just immune support. And um, I grew up in Nigeria, so with malaria. And then we started hearing stories about, oh, it works for platelets. And again and again, people are saying, I'm using this to support my healthy platelets, to either to help them grow or to maintain them um and i'm just really fascinated i'm humbled when i hear your story and stories like yours because i'm excited that we can be part of something that is really helping someone and giving someone hope so i wanted to ask you to talk a little bit about the feelings of how do you feel where do you get support and the feeling of aloneness and helplessness that comes with this and how you combat that. Um, but before we go to that question, I wanted to let our audience know you are, you're getting a lot of love, a lot of waves. Um, but I wanted to let our audience know that we're actually giving away some free gifts. So we actually have um, some Moringa leaf tea, some hair, skin, and nail products that we're giving out. So if you would like, we're giving out three free gifts at this point. If you would like to get um, a free gift, please put your, say something, add a comment, say, I'd love to. Um, and then um, and um, our team members, Miriam, will be selecting three people, random people that we will be sending free products to. Um, and, um, and please, so, so Alexandra, how... How did you keep going every day with just the feeling of how did I get here? Oh, I was just at that point of like just talking to God. Like I have just a relationship with me and God. That's what I like to call it. Just I, it's me and Him, and yes. I was just talking to Him and just asking Him like why? Like yes. what? What did I do wrong? Like. You started doing the, that that kind of human response, like why me? There are there are meaner people in the world, like yes. why? Like you start getting that like that that yes. self hatred kind of thing going yes. on. Yes. It's such a hard feeling to like get through and to like really go over in your own head why me? And there's just at the end of the day, there's yes. no answer. It just it happened. What yes. am I gonna do to better myself from it? Yes, and yes, instead of yes. wallowing in my own self pity, I was like, "What is that going to do for me? I'm gonna the only person that's going to be hurting is me. I'm gonna be the one crying in my room by myself." Yeah, like, and I was like, "You know, I I don't want to do that. There's so much yes. more to life than that." Like, yes. I and I started just putting more positivity into my life. I started reading more self growth books. I started listening to more positive music. Like, I started getting out in nature more and feeling more of just. Kind of getting back to the roots of things. I feel like as a society, we're always on onto the next thing, onto the next phone, onto the next computer. Like it's always the next, next, next thing. And I feel like I needed to take a moment to really ground myself. Like I, I got in nature and I was just feeling the breeze around me. I was feeling just the sun rays hitting me and the warmth of it. And I just got to that like epiphany moment where I was just like, wow, this is so beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. and, and God made this, this is for me. Mm -hmm. Like, uh. it was just such a moment that I realized that I, I'm not those emotions that I feel during my bad times. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. during those bad times that. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's hard. I love and that. it's just putting in my head that, you know what, if you put that. put that in your head and put something positive, you're going to start thinking more positively. I love that. You, I love that. that you just stay on those negative thoughts. I just feel like it's it's like rereading it over and over in your own head. I love that. I love that because I'm I'm a. I think that if you don't take action against your negative thoughts, that 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 that's that's constantly there. 
And I love what you said about reading and filling your mind with positive thoughts. And sometimes, um, sometimes like you, right? I, there was once I was driving through the hills of Utah. And my, it was so beautiful. And I thought to myself, oh, there is beauty in nature. I mean, there is so much beauty around us. Um, a couple of days ago, I was driving to work and I saw, usually in Texas, it goes from green to brown. But I saw some yellows and some beautiful red colors. And I was like, there is so much beauty if we could open our eyes and fill our minds with positive things. Take the blinders I feel like off. The news is full of so much negativity that you just really have to step back and, you know, and consciously do a lot to fuel yourself with positive thoughts. Energy is a big thing, but, honestly. I definitely believe in that, like, the energy that you put off, the other people yeah. put off, that nature puts yeah. off. It's that, yeah. it's that, I, in reading my book, I learned about, like, the, the, the successful law, like, karma and effect. Where it's yes, like, it's the yes. energy that's going around, and what you, yes. what you put out ultimately you reap what you sow. You, you it's what you get. get. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Well, please, guys, put your country, put where you're share, you're connecting from, yes. the country you're connecting from, so that we can give some free gifts away. But Alexandra, so so when since you started using papaya leaf. tell us a little bit about your experience. I know you said you watched the video. Um, of this girl who was talking about the papaya leaf extract and sort of how it had helped her in a similar situation. Mm -hmm. And um, you ordered from our company, Herbal Goodness. First of all, why did you order from us? I think there are others out, but um, no shade. But then a little bit about since you then started using it, how did things, how did it, how did it really affect you? Well, first of all, I just already love the name herbal goodness it just sounds like it just sounds like a nice name where it's like i definitely believe that you never sometimes you forget what somebody says but you always remember how somebody makes you feel and just yeah. hearing that name i just instantly felt like they're gonna take care of me okay that goodness right there so i'm like all right thank like, you thank that's you what I'm gonna go for. And, and to be honest i even just the bottle she had she had held up the bottle in the video and i was like really trying to look at it i was like what it, what's the name on it like what's the exact one like oh so wow that was a big part of it too but i think it was all just divine timing i think i was just meant to find yes. this bottle specifically and i starting to take this it it did take a second for it to get through my system just because with my autoimmune with my circulation it does yes. take a little bit of time for something mm -hmm. to like i've learned to yes. really soak up in your body it, yes. it just, it's not just like the first time okay like Yes. But I was willing to to wait on it because I was like, you know what? If this is going to be something that's overall better for me in the long term, yes. I would yes. rather spend the money yes. with this company and, yes. and with these results than yes. stay on my other medication that's going to hurt me in the long run. Yes. That, that's not yes. beneficial to me. That is just kind of putting a band-aid on it. Like, oh, okay, yes. like, be quiet. You're okay. Like, yes. when, when I'm still hurting. And yes. I, this product... Absolutely love that it was woman known because, like I said, just uh, the ratio I found out about women being get more prone to getting these type of diseases than men are, yes. even though men are men can still get them too. That it's yes. just it feels like such a community, like someone that someone's looking out for you, like, hey girl, how, yes. how are you doing today? Like, you know what? Yes. I got my papaya leaf. I'm doing great today. Like, <laughs> like yes. it, it's it's just has been such an experience trying this yes. and like. Like the first week, it was still a little hard just because I was getting all of that extra like yeah. toxins, all that bad stuff I was feeling yeah. out of me. Yeah. And by like the third week, I started feeling like one day I'd feel okay, one day I'd still feel kind of sick. Like one day I'd feel okay, one day I'd feel still kind of sick. And then yeah. by the time that I was on like the fourth week onto my second bottle, I just yeah. woke up feeling different. Like it was just wow. such such an amazing feeling to wake up like things i feel like we take for granted like just waking up without feeling like a pressure on your chest just waking up naturally yeah. and not feeling yeah. like that anxiety and yeah. I, I had been feeling that for such a long time that waking up i was just like i feel like i can breathe again like this is amazing like 
and to to be able to be on a product like that that makes me feel that good about myself that makes me feel yeah. like myself again yeah. is such a yeah. blessing especially in this day and market because yes. i don't i i i ain't no fool mama didn't raise no fool like i i know my research like some companies yeah. they say it's natural and yeah it's like 80 percent sugar 20 percent medication like yes or vitamin yes. Um, and it's like this one it's completely 100%. 100% natural and i absolutely 100%. absolutely love that like that's awesome that so did you, you your testing. did you check your platelets at all did it do anything for your platelets or have you checked i i checked maybe like a, a couple months ago not recently yeah. but yes. i've definitely seen an improvement in my platelets i've been writing them down and okay. I went from like 9000 and then I went yes. to like 16,000 and then I went to yes. like 54,000 and then I yes. just with this on top of it I started going up and up and up and up like and they just increased oh, so and honestly you don't really realize cool. how important playlists are until you don't have them like true like you realize <laughs> how much that really like takes a play in your overall body function and I think that's yes. why I'm so into like the holistic like the, yes. the reading, the meditating, being out in nature, because it's all connected. Where I were like, wow, it's amazing yeah. how our bodies work. Like yes. the littlest yes. thing, like the wire unplugged, it's like it throws the whole system out of chaos, yes. right? Yes, yeah. A like, lot of times wow. when we talk about platelets, people are like, what, what, what's that? Until you, until they're low, it's amazing. Like they are working well, you're fine. But if they're low, oh you my goodness, it's not working. Like yes, yes, yes. Wow, Alexandra, that's amazing, amazing. So now tell me, are you still taking the papaya leaf? And um, so when you, are you, how are you using the papaya leaf right now? Are you still taking it um, occasionally just for maintenance? How do you, how are you doing that? Well, lately I've been feeling a little worse and I think it's just because it, it is the winter time here in Texas. And from moving from Southern California over to Texas, definitely yes. is a big weather change difference yes. so i've had kind of had to learn to accommodate to that and i think because yes. of that i have been feeling worse lately so i've been yes. taking it a little bit more frequently because i believe yes. it says that you take two of them a day one in the morning time one in the yes. evening time yes. and yes. At, at first i was just taking it in the morning time just to kind of like get my day started kind of like all right this is this is kind of my version of a morning coffee like all right like let's, let's get my day going like <laughs> And um, I, because of the cold, I started taking it now twice a day. So I take it once in the morning and once in the evening. I see. I see. I see. Well, I love what you, you said because you said well, it feels like a family. We definitely want to take care of you. We want to. Um, it was very exciting when um, you reached out. I think you reached out uh, or you sent an email to our customer service to say thank you. Or, or I don't oh, know. Yeah, I, I, I think I did send a, an email saying thank you. Yeah, yes. yes. I, I, I did yes. actually in the beginning. I totally forgot about that. Um, yes. Yeah, because I've been using it for a while now. I've been talking about it on my IG about it a lot, just how much this yes. has made such a big difference to me. Because I, I already wanted to start sharing with people about my like my experience yes. with it yes. and yes. explaining that. And someone actually did reach out to me because of that. But yeah, I, awesome. I, I sent an email the first time I got it to you guys. And I was like, thank you guys so much. This has made such a difference. <laughs> like, love that it's natural. Like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah yeah we saw your email we're like oh my goodness that's such an amazing story if if you would agree to come to our instagram live and share that and i just want to tell people go to facebook ali cat underscore as and just uh follow alexandra there she's just you just have such an amazing energy the first time we talked i was blown away i was just like i wish we had recorded this because um I just loved the authenticity with which you were coming through and just really telling your story for the purpose of helping other people. And that's why we're here. Honestly, in Herbal Goodness, our mission is how can we help other people? And you said it so correctly. Nature has everything we need. And our goal is to bring that superfood, the super herbs, in its purest form. Mm -hmm. um, one of our big things is quality. So if we can find something better quality anywhere we're going to bring it to people in, at an affordable way in an affordable way um but we're also huge about impact we're 100 percent women owned so we believe in empowering people but especially women 
um, and we want to give back to our communities. So please, for people who are listening to us, we have some free gifts. We want to give back to you guys um, in some way, just to thank you for being part of our company and for being part of this amazing story. Um, but um, one more question. I know we're running really um, fast. Before I start, I open it up for questions. I see a couple of people who are waving. If you have a question for Alexandra, please put the question in the chat. She would love to answer your questions. If you have somebody who's been dealing with um, platelet issues, uh, Could you, you want to tell me, you know, what the questions on mine, I can't see what everybody's saying or like the sure, way sure. There's been a lot of posting, so I'll have to scroll down. Um, I'll have to scroll down. But before that, do you have any other tips for people who are dealing with? Um, either lupus or ITP or just low platelet issues. Anything else? I know papaya leaf is one of them, but anything else that you would just really recommend for them to do to just mm -hmm. keep their health up or keep their spirits up? Definitely recommend the papaya leaf, just saying again, because it, <laughs> it, it, it is a big life changer. But okay. some other, I would just say stay as natural as possible. Some of the mm -hmm. best things that I've tried have been all natural things like the honey and cinnamon I mentioned. You mm. put that on any rash, and it, it's it's mm. gone. It, it, I didn't know that. It, it's gone, and it, it, it's natural. It's nice. It, mm. It's not like you have to go to the store to get it. It's already going to be in your house. It's convenient. Mm. Um, I would say also ginger. Anyone that's having like mm. problems, I I found out that ginger is such an amazing tool and f um, vegetable to use if you're trying to get your blood blood circulating. I take that in my tea every morning. I'm more of a tea drinker than a coffee drinker, to be honest. Um, so it definitely would say putting ginger in there, that's help, helped me a lot. Um, tips as far as staying positive, just yes. telling yourself to stop those negative thoughts before you even finish that thought. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. yourself that you are not your emotions. That emotions flow through me, but they are not me. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're, you're feeling what you're feeling, allow it feel it mm. but release it let it go mm. if there's nothing that you can do to change it you stressing mm. about it is not mm. going to help and i can tell mm. you from personal experience i'm like the biggest stress case that mm. it's so much better just to let that go do something mm. that's going to make you happy if you're feeling sad in this moment go put on like your favorite song go take a walk mm. outside go for mm. a hike if you're feeling bad mm. go read some positive notes in, in your affirmation mm. books like i have so many affirmation books that I read every day just to keep that positive positivity going flowing through me. Like that's what I want to give off. Like, and if anyone else is feeling like struggling or anything, you're again always more than welcome to message me personally at Five Ciali Kind of curious. You know, this is something that it is. I found out that a lot of people do struggle with that it's so important to keep that connection with people even though like me I want to be alone I don't want anyone to see me hurting I want to be like everything's fine but even just like sharing my journey like this that there's so much you can learn from other people and sharing that and and, and connecting with people like that that it's just keeping that positive mindset that not letting yourself um, succumb to those feelings that, mm. that you're so much more than that and that you're worth more than that oh my goodness you have to write a book <laughs> you have to write a book Alexandra I don't, you know, don't want so to you Honestly, you remind me of my best friend Maline Maline Sidori oh. here, I love you she's actually one of my, biggest, she's my biggest motivator and just talking to you I think was also such like a comfortable feeling because you just remind me her of her so much like you make oh, me her. like I just want to hug her like me too. I want to cry she's my, I'm biggest, she's my biggest motivator Oh, thumbs up to her. But I want to cry. I, I don't want to ask you how old you are on, on, on camera, but I know you're young. And I'm wondering, how does someone so young have so much wisdom already? Like, I am so inspired by you and how you know that you are not your thoughts, that you just let them flow through. And like, how you know to have affirmations. How do you know these things? Like, it's, it's amazing. You know, a lot of self, self development, a lot of self growth, a lot of looking at myself in the mirror and really like 
kind of taking myself out of my own unbiased shoes and really looking at myself. Like, would you be okay if someone treated you like this? Like, oh you know, my gosh. Like, it, a lot of just a lot of self growth and a lot of self reflection. Alexandra, you need such a platform to tell your story. And I'm not just flattering you. And I don't flatter people. I wish that my 16 year old daughter would hear you. Like, young people need people like you to say what you're saying. Like, it sounds so simple. But honestly, a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are struggling emotionally, mentally, and physically with their health. But just even just the, I think that our health starts from our mind, actually, that if we can get it ourselves from there. I'm telling you, I really feel that our physical health is very connected to our mental and our emotional health. Um, so love 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 affirmations all right guys please start get the questions in so much love so much love somebody said wow ginger how does that work how do you take ginger well ginger, you, you, can, yeah. you can either get it like in like the tea already or you can okay. like just like actually take a, a fresh ginger and just kind of chop it up into little pieces yes. a little bit goes a long way you don't need much of it Yes. Yes. Okay. So, do you do it in the tea bag? People are trying to do they buy the tea bag or did I get the fresh one? I squish it up and then I I use hot water in it. But is that how you do yours, or do you have um, ginger tea? Oh, you know, I actually haven't tried it that way, squeezing the juice out before. That's actually kind of a good idea. I like that. Yeah. Um, but I usually just get it like already in my tea bag. Like I'll get one that says that it ha already comes with ginger on it, just to make my process easier. Because yeah. I sometimes I get fatigued. Yeah. I want something quick and easy, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Somebody saying try ginger with honey as well. All yeah. right, fantastic. Um, um, please put your um uh, questions in the um in the chat. Someone is saying, is there any other homeopathic um remedy you know about for platelets? helping you to raise platelets anything um, else to be honest right now i'm still kind of doing my research on it, so i'm still kind of testing some things out some things that work for some people i realize don't work for others so okay. it's just kind of trying different things and seeing what triggers you and what doesn't so i'm definitely yes. still trying some things out like continuously to see like a, a, an effect what they have on me so I'm not I'm still kind of looking at that right now yes 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 and if we know anything we would share with all you beautiful amazing people um but honestly papaya leaf is the only thing that we've seen to naturally help to boost platelets and there's a ton of things that please if you have medical we always have to say the disclaimer if you have a medical condition make sure to go to your doctor follow their advice because we're not a medical facility but when it comes to natural health a uh, natural boosting thing uh, papaya leaf is the one thing that we know about so um uh so I just wanted to put that out there. But again, a lot of things help. One of the things that you had actually mentioned that I wanted to circle back to was because these are herbs um, and they have these phytonutrients, we can, they have these nutrients in this natural combination. Usually it takes a little while for it to work for it to kick in or for you to see impact. Some people are thinking, oh, if I take it in two days, but everybody is different. Some people within a week, some people within four weeks. Usually we tell people, give it four to six weeks if you really are looking for to see impact. But um, somebody is saying, um, how do you deal with the issues when you're asking yourself, why me? Like, how did you help yourself come out of that? Oh, that's a good question. I like that. Um, I guess that just goes back down to getting back to my roots. Yes. I, it was about grounding myself. And when I yes. grounded myself, I started, like, talking to myself. Like, mm. really, like, asking myself questions. Like, why are you feeling like this? Why are you blaming, mm. like, mm. like if, if someone did this to you specifically? Like, mm. I started, like, kind of rationalizing my thoughts, I guess kind of turning it into like log logic because that kind of helps me that's how my my brain kind of works is like putting it into logic that uh, why are you suddenly feeling like this uh, and i think a lot, what would help me kind of get out of that funk is changing the space that i was in if i was uh, really kind of sad and starting to have those thoughts creeping in i would open the windows i would immediately change the change where i was at so I would really be stuck in those feelings. Because I feel like if I was stuck in one place, then those feelings are stuck too. 
Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like my brain to like work through it. I'd be like, okay, if I'm moving, then my thoughts are moving. If my thoughts are moving, mm -hmm. then I'm thinking something else. Like, mm -hmm. and I would put it in my head that I was more than what mm -hmm. I was feeling. That mm -hmm. it was really trusting to myself that, hey, you know what? Um, everyone has their thoughts. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone gets hurt over something. Everyone feel feels what they feel. And, mm. and, it, and it affects them. And in that sense, I was feeling that, okay, like, everyone has these feelings. Everyone feels angry, sad, upset, frustrated, like, but then people feel happy, excited, exuberated, like, and I was telling myself that I need to get out of this feeling right now. Like, I don't want to feel like this. And I would make it a mission to tell myself that, okay, read something positive, do something to change the gears in your head to move to a different different direction than where you're going because where you're going you're just it's kind of like if you were hurting yourself and mm, what's true. the point of life like th does it that's feel good. i would tell myself does it feel good to hurt no do i want to yeah. hurt that no why, yeah. why why am i going to make myself feel like that it doesn't feel good when somebody yeah. else makes me feel like that why am i going to do that yeah. to myself yeah but i think it's kind of like just yes. talking to yourself and work, working through those emotions that get you out of the state of mind that you're in. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. I like what you said about going out of, taking yourself out of that situation. Sometimes you just need a change of environment or a change of, you know, change something so that you feel like you're moving forward. Okay, somebody says, since ITP is a silent condition, how do you cope with persons who think that you're not struggling? That's from Nadia Brown. I'm sorry, say so that one more time. It kind of cut out. She said, since ITP is a silent condition, how do you cope with people who think you're not struggling? How do you cope with people who, who think you're not struggling? Who think you're not struggling with uh, anything? Like, oh, you. They look at you and they're like, you're fine. Yeah, that that's definitely a good question. Honestly, that's something that I deal with actually quite often because I'm such like, an, yeah. I guess, I don't really call myself an influencer, I guess, but I just like to be an advocate to spread positivity. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. being, putting myself into that spotlight in this sort of sense on social media, yeah. that yeah. it definitely is very hard to deal with when everyone's just like, oh, but you're so motivating, you're so strong, you work out, yeah. like, like yeah. if, if you work out that hard, you can't feel bad, like, and to be honest, with the way the human body works, you your body changes so quickly, like, I've been yes. learning about fitness and how fast mm -hmm. those receptors send out that signal to your body, how yes. quick yes. how quick your mood can change. And it's just explaining to people and having them explain and kind of advocating for myself. Hey, I'm sorry. Like, I know usually I, I can do this much weight, but today I can't because my lupus yes. is affecting me. Like, yes. and it's just kind of explaining that to people. And sometimes I have the people that are all with me in the motivation. They're like, yeah, I totally yes. get it. Don't worry about it, girl. Do you? And then I have the people that are just like, you're such a baby or like that are just the kind of like the naysayers, the negative Nancy's. And I realized that, you know what, I can't change somebody's perception of me. I can only be myself and have them think what they want. But at the end of the day, they, they're going to think what they want to think. And I can't let that effectively affect me if that's going to be negative or positive. Like, that it's something very struggling, but it's just kind of taking it at one person at a time and explaining, Hey, this is what's going on with me. Um, Either you're going to be okay with it or you're not. And if they're not, then I'm like, you know what? Then maybe we're just not meant to be around each other. Like, that's fine. You know what? You're you're doing you. I'm doing me. That's okay. Like, so it's just kind of just taking it one person at a time. Mm. I love what you said. And, and something I always preach is emotional health. I think sometimes a part of, just like you would take, just like you would detox. I, I we did a a, a, pre, a talk a few weeks ago around um, emotional detox. Just like you would do a physical mm -hmm. detox, mm -hmm. right? Where you remove the things that are toxic to your body. Yes, I think it's important to do an emotional detox. It where is, you're like, honestly, honestly, if there are I'm people sure who preach it. Like the first time, okay. Second, time, by the third time, e your energy just pulls. The, I give you the you know, opportunity. You want to just argue? I'm okay. I'm gonna go this way. Like, 
emotional detox is so healthy for us like we just need to know who is around us and how much energy they are bringing into the space and i'm i'm not i'm not saying be bitter or angry no. or just realize that this person is not the right person around you at this time but also what i want to preach is be kind i i i wish we would have more kindness yes. because if we walked in the shoes of other people oh my goodness we would realize that everybody is doing the best they can like people are actually stronger than usually really really strong with what they're dealing with so um just to remind everyone be strong but please detox your environment emotionally <laughs> you're so beautiful you know my you're so amazing i couldn't agree Thank more you. with you honestly and i think um, i i when, we, when you did give me that phone call we did talk about a little bit about my past in high school uh in roseville um by sacramento yes. and I, yes. i had that peer helping class and i think that's another reason why i'm i'm yes. so positive and i i want to help people with that like our children as well too is because of that that class just yes. taught you about like the different yes. love languages not judging somebody yes. when you, when you meet yes. them and actually hearing their life story like yes. you honestly people will surprise you and it definitely yes. gives you a such a bigger outlook on how people were like who somebody really is and that we're all just people and yes. that we're all just kind of going through life doing what we think is best yes. like yes yes oh uh, that's so beautiful more said, and i love that more empathy for people more empathy honestly is what i i i'm hoping that um your story is amazing um i'm hoping that a lot of people can see you know how authentic you are and that we all can have more empathy for what people are going through and just be kind like a kind word can encourage somebody and keep them going and fighting because we are all fighting through different things um and um part of our company i know we're doing this to promote herbal goodness and promote propiality but i'm honestly very passionate about supporting people and empowering people um i think that that's more important than all the other things i wish that we would teach kindness in school and yeah. some of these things that we talked about you know we we teach all these um analytical skills and academic skills but more and more our world is needing empathy uh, you know people and people have feelings like people yeah. i think that's why we people struggle so much with with drugs and yeah. violence and even the yeah. jail system because yeah. people are working through those emotions that yeah. like, some people they just need a hug they just they didn't get that growing oh, up and it, it it really does take a toll on you emotionally i realize how blessed i am now like yeah. talking to my friends and people that I've met yeah. that shared their life stories with me that yeah. how blessed I was to get the affection that I did as a child like my mother was yeah. a very affectionate woman like That's awesome I would That's always get awesome. hugs kisses good nights and That's I realized awesome. how much that affects a child a uh, feeling does. that that safety that like I can be yeah. myself kind of thing cuz I yeah. think taking to the traumas we take as into as adults whether yeah. anyone wants to admit it or not we take yeah. those traumas as adults and it's like I'm like you have to write a book emotions. you have to write a book you have to write a book girl you have to write a book or maybe, you know maybe you just inspired me you know maybe I will write a book just because of you I'll be like you know what made me write it like honestly I'm cheering you on I'm one of your biggest fans you have to get this stuff out all you you have to share your story but in this wrapped around this whole idea of empathy and hogs and just people just need a treat you know someone how you want to be treated yeah. and honestly it just it gets as simple as that is just like would you be okay if someone was acting like that to you no then why are, yes. why are you treating somebody like that yes. yes 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 well we're coming to the end of it everybody's like oh my god so much goodness so much um, isha said you're such a strong woman thank you for sharing um and I'll go through and read some of these comments but we wanted to give you a gift before we give you your gift Alexandra I get one <laughs> Yes you do get a gift but I want you guys to know we're still giving away gifts put the put the country that you've been joining us from or your city that you're joining us from in the chat and we're sending out free gifts free teas free bottles of capsules and extracts So if you're selected, uh, Miriam is on our team. She will be giving out uh, free uh, free stuff. But um 
And I wanted to shout out to Miriam. Have you been in touch with Miriam? Oh, do you want to shout out to her? Yes, Miriam. She is awesome. <laughs> Me and her have been connecting through email. Such a lovely yes. woman, too, honestly. So sweet, so kind. Was so yeah. help so helpful with this process. Like I said, I um, it's definitely like I'm I'm used to talking, but I haven't been on Instagram live before. So she just made the process so much easier and so much more understanding. Shout out to Miriam. She's an amazing woman. She is. She is. Miriam, I hope you're hearing that. Shout out to you. She's just a very beautiful woman inside and out. We're very glad to have her on our team. Very excited for her. Um, and then we have a gift for you. We want to give you one yes worth three worth of papaya leaf extract capsules. We want to support your journey. <laughs> we want to support your journey. We want to make sure that you have everything you need. And obviously, we're here for you. If there's anything we can do for you, so we'll give you one year free, free, um, free um, supply, and we'll throw in some papaya leaf tea. I don't know if you've tried the tea before. I actually it haven't. Is... I'm actually excited. I haven't tried the tea yet before. I was just, we'll I was just looking actually on the site today. <laughs> we'll send you some tea, but I have to warn you: the tea is a little bitter. So oh, if you right. sweeten it, you make it with some honey. But they always say that what the bitter things are what's good for you. So please <laughs> get ready I for some. I have a car uh, store with teas though, so I'm I'm always down to try different kinds of teas. I like some sweet ones, but I do like some like other bitter ones as well too. I put a little honey in there, and it's all good. Nice. So we'll send you the papaya leaf tea. This is what it looks like. And then I also thank you though. That's such a blessing. Honestly, like this really does make such a big difference in the world <laughs> for me. Like thank you. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. I wanted to also share with our audience. We all this is our, our newest product, the Jimnima leaf tea, and Jimnima is a plant from India. I see Isha from India talking about ancient remedies, but I don't know if you guys know about Jimnima. We call it the sugar destroyer, so it actually helps to block your carbs and helps you to digest sugars really quickly. It actually makes sugars flush right through you, so it doesn't get absorbed. Um, so this is our newest product that we're excited about, and I just wanted to share that. But any last words? We actually, at, I can't believe that we, we're at noon. <laughs> we're at noon central. It's gone so quickly. Oh my but God. do you have any so last? <laughs> it's gone so well. Do you have any sort of last minute, um, last thoughts, or last advice, or last words? Um. Definitely want to say that support's a big thing with me. So I definitely want to shout out with for Maline Sidori. She's such an amazing yeah. friend to incredible yeah. with a with a K. Definitely big support system for me. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay. Last thing I want to say, I guess, is that you're that if you're ever feeling alone, that you're not, and we're in the time now that there is so many different. Um, mm -hmm. What I want to say, like clubs, different connections you can make with people that um, if you're feeling alone, you can even message me by C Alex underscore AS. Honestly, that we're all going through stuff and that if you just take the time out, there's so much that we can share and learn from each other that we can grow so much together just through love and light. Mm, that's amazing. Amazing. Well, I guess that that's a wrap for us, Alexandra. Just know that we're cheering you on. We're standing strong behind you. If there's anything we can do, I know that you're going to go on to do amazing things. So we're going to be watching you and just cheering you on in any way that we can. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I hope it helps someone out there to know that there are real people who are dealing with these issues, but who have come out on the other side and who are just living amazing lives. So thank you for joining us. Um, thank you so much, Yama. Honestly, it was such a pleasure getting to talk with you. Same here, Alexandra. Same here. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. And we'll connect with you all soon. All right. I don't know how to... All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Miriam. Um, thank you, Nadia. Uh, Caroline, just lots of people here. Nature Wilder, hi. Mr. Pretty Tony. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we will see you soon.